Well, your next choice is Comedy Hero. Right. And uh, you've gone with, well, as far as I'm concerned, a genius. So, and utter madness. Have a little look. Spike Milligan. Yeah. Spike Milligan shot to fame in 1951 when he wrote a radio show and performed it with Harry Seacombe, Michael Benteen and Peter Sellers. And The Goon Show was born, changing British comedy forever. It is Spike Milligan in that costume, yeah, isn't it? and the Brunhilde costume, yeah. It looks good as a woman. <laughs> you need to get out more. <laughs> <laughs> Spike died in 2002 at the age of 83 and his gravestone reads I told you I was ill but if it could make a sound I am pretty sure it will be something like <laughs> It's just so silly <laughs> It's ridiculous is that what you loved about him, just that you know simplicity what? of it? No, in truth, yeah. when I first started watching um, Q5 or something yeah. like that, right? It was my dad, that was my dad's programme. And I have, to, I have to hold my hands up and say, I was a bit bemused by what was really going on. I didn't get it. Mm. I probably didn't get it till about Q9 or something like that. Do you know what I mean? But, but there was something that I did want to get. Mm -hmm. I could see that my dad loved it, and I could see that... He thought it was funny, and I'm looking at it going, what? But And I stuck with it, because I kind of wanted to. This is brilliant. Did your dad have a good sense of humour? Yeah, he did. Do you know, one of the things that makes me really sad, though, is that... I never really, and I don't suppose any of us do, get to know your dad the way other people know your dad. My dad used to have a lot, he was a toolmaker, and he had a lot of apprentices and stuff, and I, you knew a lot of the guys that were his apprentices. And they would tell me how brilliant my dad was and how funny he is and what a great guy he was and everything. And I'd be like, really, we're talking about the same person, you know? And, um... I think every child or... You know. I do, I think... You, you, and I notice with my own kids, I, I spend a lot of time kind of looking up and looking down at, you know, so what age was my dad when I was that age and what age was I when they were, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And I, and I do think that. I feel like... I feel like my kids don't realise how cool I am. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? They're just like, I mean, I'm in embarrassment. Dad, don't sing. You know, and like my daughter now, every time I say, go and give us a kiss, she goes like that. You know, I get to kiss the top of her head. That's, it's a great personal tragedy that they'll never know how cool I really am. Yeah. <laughs>